All right, so let's get into some pretty serious stuff here. How do I add web and email links to an HTML page? Because it wouldn't be the web if you couldn't link to other pages, right? Right, that's the whole thing. That's why it's called hypertext markup language. It's all about creating hypertext and hyperlinks. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to introduce a new tag to you. I'm going to introduce what's called the the a tag or the link tag and I'm going to actually where am I going to put it I'm actually just going to type it down here um, this isn't actually part of the, the the page down here but I just want to show you what it looks like it's actually just like an a tag okay just like a tag it's got a but on its own it's not going to do some it's not going to do much what you need to do is you need to actually give it some more information and this is where it's a good time to talk about a little bit of vocabulary for HTML um, we need to talk about attributes. Attributes is just like extra information that you give to tags so that the tags gets, gets like a little bit more customization, if you will, okay? And the attribute that we're gonna give to the A tag or to the link tag is gonna be called, for this one, if we wanna create a link, we're gonna to, to add the attribute of A, H, sorry, the attribute is called href, okay? Uh, then we're gonna put an equal sign and we're gonna put a value inside some sort of value inside these quotation marks, okay? So see, all I've done here is this is still a tag, okay? It's still, it's still, it's, you know, technically this is a valid tag, it's just it's not gonna do anything, okay? We need to actually give it some sort of href value. And in this case, we're gonna see this pattern a lot. We're gonna start to see tags that have these attribute value pairs inside them. And the value in this case, what information do you think you have to give to an, an A tag or a link? tag in order for it to create a hyperlink. Well, I'll tell you, you need to give it the address, right? The web address of where you want the link to go. So it's kind of logical. So what we're going to do in here is inside here, you have to write the fully qualified address. So that means you need to include all that junk at the front, the HTTP colon slash slash, and then some website.com. OK, and if there's whatever, whatever the specific address is, that's where it's going to go. OK, and sometimes depending if it needs the www, whatever, most of the time they don't. But there we go. OK, so that is a link. And then what you put inside here is whatever you want to be the link. OK, so all of that is going to get underlined. Um, this won't. Won't get underlined. And neither will this okay so but see what we did we put the tag the a tag around this text right here and this text is going to be the link I'll shorten it to just link okay so when people click on the on the word link then it's going to hypertext them right over it's going to hyperlink them straight over to this address right here. You're going to leave this page and you're going to go straight to this page. And that's how the web works. I mean, I'm sure you've clicked on many links in your lifetime, so there's nothing new about that. So let's get rid of that and let's actually start applying this. And this is where, unfortunately, you kind of have to, you know, we're, we're going to pick, uh, we're going to sort of break our rule of, of, of writing tags and pairs, although not really. Uh, we'll do it this way. Um, here's Harrison's shoot. If we have a look at, let's go back here. See right here? Um, the word Harris Institute is a link, and I know it's not underlined, uh, but if I hover over it, you can see that my cursor changes, so that's what tells us it's a link. And plus, if you look in the lower left-hand corner, it tells you the destination for that link. So we want to link to Harris Institute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Text Wrangler. I'm going to start by putting this A tag um, at the beginning. Whoops. Ah and the end of exactly the text I want to link. See that? It's just the word Harris Institute. You don't include the spaces in there. OK, the spaces go on the outside, no spaces there. Um, so that's created a link, but it's not going anywhere. It's not going to do anything. In fact, it won't really do anything in your web browser either. You need to give it a destination. So to do that, we're going to type the attribute value pair. The attribute is going to be a, or just href uh, equals. And then inside there, we're going to put the value. And the value, the address for the Harris Institute website, I happen to know, is http colon slash slash Harris Institute, oh, that's an easy one, dot com. Okay, so let's save that and let's see what happened. Let's switch over to here. Let's go to there and let's hit reload. So what we're watching is we've just added something to, we've just added a link to Harris Institute. Let's see if it worked. Yeah, it worked. Okay, and of course, again, web browsers have this, they have some defaults where they will typically interpret links and they'll make them blue and they'll make them underlined and see what happens. The same behavior when I hover over it. 
it shows up as you can see that my, my little cursor turns into a, a pointer here or a hand and in the lower left hand corner you've got the um, the address that of the destination let's go ahead and, and click on it to see if it works haha <laughs> it worked isn't that cool all right let's go back um so that's how you add links to places to websites but what if you want to do an email link Okay, what if you want somebody to be, let's say I wanted somebody to be able to click on info at robobunnyattack.com and be able to send me a link, uh, an email directly. Well, it's actually almost the same format. In fact, it is practically the same format. It's just that the value is going to change. The value is we need to use a different type of code here to tell the browser, hey, start up the default, you know, email client and send an email to this address. So let's do the same thing that we did before. Let's do the open the uh, open the a tag and let's right here close the a tag and and I, I did this like this. I, I didn't put any any space there because if I leave a space there it's, it's going to get wonky. We don't want that. We want no space there. Um, and then what we have to do is we need to write the attribute href equals um, and then within these two brackets Instead of doing HTTP, we're going to write mail to colon, and then we're just going to write the email address. And in this case, it's just info at robobunnyattack.com. And there's the email address. So the default behavior for this, let's hit save, and I'm going to hit reload, and there we go. So if somebody clicks on this, um, however you have your, your browser configured, it's going to open up your default mail client and it's going to generate a new message with the, um, with the to field already filled in as info at robobunnyattack.com. Um, you don't actually, this text inside here can be anything you want, it doesn't have to be an address. This is the part that counts. This could actually be spelt wrong. Um, it could be email me, you know. Um, this is the part that matters right here. So. For example, if you look right here, see, I've got, if you hover over my name, you actually have the email that goes straight to me at, at my studio. And so let's go ahead and add that. And, and I'm just putting that around my name. So I've got here, and let's go open and close the A tag, and then let's add the attribute of href. And the value this time is going to be mail to, and instead this time I'm going to write my studio address, which is just katherinenorth.com. Okay, and let's hit save. Well, let's re, oops, I'm reloading the wrong page. Let's reload this page. There we go. So now we have three links. We've got a link to a website, and then we've got two email links right here, the mail to links. And, uh, and that's all there is to it. So, um, so don't let links intimidate you. They are the, the building blocks of the web. So uh, there you go. Um, that's it for this screencast. I hope that you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.